Hello everyone. Welcome to another vlog. As you can see behind me, we're going to head into Spirit Halloween today and see what's in store. Get it? Never use that one. For Halloween 2020. So let's uh, go inside and see. So the theming this year is Reaper's Island and uh, pretty creepy looking entrance. Let's go ahead and try some of the animatronics. They're usually pretty loud. Yep, off to a creepy start. <laughs> the entryway actually looks pretty cool though. I like this fake fire effect. This would be cool to have in your driveway. I can't bear to watch scary things. I'm such a sensitive soul. Blah! Perhaps you will come closer and keep away the boogeyman. <laughs> Don't worry. Clowns well, scare me too. <laughs> a clown. You don't know who you're messing with. <laughs> okay, that actually kind of scared me. Stop laughing at me. Okay, and we got classic Pennywise the Clown from It. I've been waiting for you to come out and play. What took you so long? <laughs> I'm good. These are actually pretty cool. They're the vintage looking masks from like even in like the 80s they kind of look like this too on those like cheapy plastic bins but they have like the classic vampire characters like monster characters well, not really vampires it's frankenstein this pumpkin guy and the mummy and that clown and a werewolf um but yeah these are pretty cool and then these are pretty funny too uh if you watch the comedy channel that's the one right there that kevin and i used last year for uh, another character. We didn't call him Uncle Bobby. I forget what we called him, but that was a pretty... These make pretty funny masks, actually, and can also be creepy. Just like the assortment of masks that you see all along here. Ooh, and then Giant Spider can definitely scare anyone with arachnophobia. I don't know if this one actually moves. It looks like it just sits there. And then let's, uh, more electronic, or sorry, animatronics. Um throughout kind of two-headed creature here and then they have this this guy that pops out the pop-out ones are always pretty scary but definitely not one to see that as a trick-or-treater so there's that one okay let's see if he goes back down and then I mean this would be very creepy Needless to say, uh, so if you want this corpse woman, get her at spirit. Oh, and then they have this, the giant dinosaur that you see across like all forms of the internet. 
kind of expensive though. It's 79 bucks. Jeez. Could be a worthwhile investment though. And then they have the kid version here for 59. It's actually not that much cheaper <laughs> with the kid version. Oh, this rocket's pretty funny. I like the rocket one. Jetpack. And they have a very small end cap for Stranger Things this year. Um, I guess it's people are just more and more forgetting about it. Like if you wore this Hopper costume at something, would people even know that's what you are? I mean, I feel like the Scoops Ahoy is a little more obvious, but even still, I guess the shirt's the most obvious. But people aren't really familiar with Stranger Things as much anymore. Is that was it fourth season coming back? We're waiting. Anyway. And then they have uh, a lot of, if you're into the horror movies, I feel like you can just get a lot of signs like this or things that you could use even as like decorations in a movie room. I personally am not into horror movies, but they have that. Oh, and then of course the classic David Pumpkins jacket. People still know what that is too. Okay, I do feel like I can use all of the prison related things for the comedy channel, especially with Kevin, so. You might see some of these make an appearance on my comedy channel. Oh, and this is a great deal. Look at this. You can get hundreds of dollars for just $5.99. <laughs> that is pretty good. And then there's... Uh, these shirts are actually pretty funny, I think. These are t-shirt designs they have. But if you're into horror movies again, I think all of these are pretty... Good. They have, of course, some it-related ones, some like children's books, and then here we are in the psychic section. If you want a hand with reading palms or two, then tarot cards. They're actual ones, apparently. If you want to do some palm reading at a Halloween party, and they had all this Scooby-Doo stuff now. I have to say, when I was a kid, I loved Scooby-Doo, and there wasn't really any merchandise uh, in the 90s for that. And then now, I don't know. I'm kind of just a trendsetter, I guess. I mean, look at all of this. Those costumes look like they'd be good pajamas, actually. Um, this looks like something Kevin would have made um, from Rick and Morty, Mr. Poopy Butthole Inflatable. Okay, this Ghostbusters section, I would have loved as a kid, too. There's so many things that I would have... Like the proton pack, I would have loved that. Uh, the jacket, the... What is this? The PKE meter? I always wanted that. I really liked Egon out of the Ghostbusters as a kid. and I uh, would have loved this stuff. Like an Ecto goggles. Not the Stay Puff costume is funny. But, alas... And this I really would have wanted, the uh, ghost trap. I probably would have wanted this the most. Uh, again, just, you know, all these things available now. And it costs the classic ghost trap. There you go. Would have loved this section as a kid. Oh, well. And this, again, another great thing for Kevin. I feel like you could wear this t-shirt. Kevin, if you're watching, you could wear this t-shirt any day. Perfect. Okay, then they have all of these decorations, which are pretty creepy. Like, I feel like if you put a projection on that, like, this looks like the Haunted Mansion. Like, this would be a really good one to have. But, you know, same for these up here, the hanging phantom ghosts. I think if you pull off projections on these, these things actually are pretty good and can distract people from, like, a real person in a costume. Just speaking from my haunted house experience. I really like the, like, heads, like, like the gory stuff. But the ghost stuff to me is kind of preferable then they have these evil dolls which fully look the part I mean a hundred percent but ugh. and then these really creepy zombie babies uh, yeah creepy is the key operative word I'd say for all of these uh, not really a fan and then they have like snakes and rodents and cats so if you want more of the animal uh, scary things, Oof, including those. This will be your aisle. And uh, there you go, the, you, you know, the feet. <laughs> if you want, again, the gory stuff, Spirit's got you covered. Uh, and then they have this uh, coffin. I'm curious if anyone's ever tried these collapsible coffins, like how well they actually work. And it's funny, this corner's back. Okay, I feel like you wouldn't want that on your lawn 
any time other than Halloween night specifically. And even then, probably not. The sconce is kind of cool. Okay, this is, of course, extra creepy. Yeah, no thanks. That's always the little creepy girls that, that work. Oh, and then, of course, they really built out the Hocus Pocus section even more. I actually saw this movie in theaters way back when I was a kid. But, look, they have Billy's Grave. That's pretty cool. The actual, like, what does Tombstone look like? Like a 1600s tombstone. That would just be cool to have in general. Then you got the uh, Sanderson Museum of Witchcraft mug and some Hocus Pocus mugs. And uh, this mat's pretty funny. It's the Bette Midler line. Oh, look, another glorious morning. Makes me sick. So if you want to have a very, that was a really bad reading of the line. Uh, they have the Funko Pops of the Sanderson sisters with the cauldron. It's pretty cool for any fans. And then they have the Sanderson Museum of Witchcraft sign. I feel like that looks pretty cool. That's a pretty, oh, and a bigger one. I don't know. I like that one. I think that would actually be cool to have in general. And then uh, Billy, there he is again. Apparently it's a dancing Billy. I don't want to touch anything this year, but you know, you can imagine. Pretty cool section. And then they have, of course, a fully built out Ouija section. Um, Ouija in every form, including on like mugs and things, cups. Yeah, lots of Ouija. And then Oh yeah, they had a Beetlejuice section. I actually saw this movie on a plane for the first time in ages, like a year ago. It's actually a pretty good movie. This this reminds me of, of course, all the different scenes, and it's very Tim Burton looking. Everything's very Nightmare Before Christmas looking. But lots of Beetlejuice stuff. Ghost with the most, babe. <laughs> the quotes from the thing. And then uh, another interesting thing they had is the uh, handbook for the recently deceased. It's just a notebook, but I thought that was pretty funny uh, from the movie. Then you got Beetlejuice just hanging out over here, statue. Again, I, well, not, I'm not going to press anything. <laughs> and then like your classic like brews, spells, potions, and black cat stuff. This could go with the Hocus Pocus theme if you're doing that, but separate section. And then a really built out Nightmare Before Christmas section. This is also huge. So Disney has a, some sections in spirit now. This is especially huge at Disneyland uh, with the whole Nightmare Before Christmas retheming of the Haunted Mansion. Uh, I feel like out of all these, the wreath is pretty cool. They have that in the Haunted Mansion uh, for the ride at Disneyland. And I don't know, that's probably my favorite thing out of this section. But controversial claim, I'm not the biggest Nightmare Before Christmas fan, so. But you know, to each their own. And then you got all the characters down here, like Sally, and I have no idea what that middle character is. So then, of course, good old Jack Skellington. Uh, another huge Disneyland character people line up to. Take a picture with Jack Skellington. And then these uh, creepy clown markers. I feel like they don't need that label. <laughs> it's, it's implied. Then they have a zombie groundbreaker and zombie arms for the pathway. So you're going for the zombie theme. That scarecrow skeleton thing is pretty cool. So is this door knocker, actually. Yeah, interesting. And then creepy dolls. Dolls are always creepy. And, of course, Chucky is just extra, extra creepy. And then... Um, I don't know. I would not want to have this around the house, like, at any point in time, especially with the knife. And then his girlfriend, it just, no thanks. <laughs> and then the classic, like, how, I guess this is how Chucky came in the container originally. I've actually never seen these movies, and I uh, don't plan to. But that section's there. Then, of course, more Pennywise. Bugs available, if you want those. Creepy mornings. And a nice welcome mat that just works year-round, too. You know, just, just keep that up all year. It's very welcoming. And then the SS Georgie, if you want to display that with uh, blood on it. So there you go. And uh, even more Pennywise. So pretty big, like, section for it right now. I guess that makes sense. It's the most recent, probably, like, horror movie that's been out. So much bigger section than for Stranger Things. Is this from something? I keep seeing this one, but does anyone know? This from an actual horror movie that I'm not familiar with? I don't think so, because actually it looks like it's all just spirit branded. Sam sidestepper. Okay, so no. All right, so that was a little walkthrough of Spirit Halloween 
2020. Uh, some interesting things in there for sure. As you can see, some very scary things. Some things I don't want to think about anymore. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, more of these to come. We'll get some more Halloween things. Uh, maybe other stores or just general Halloween things this month. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye-bye.